First, after removing the packaging from your shark net, order all the components you will be needed. Keep the high and low tracks aside, because we will start from these. After removing the cellophane, holding together the high and low tracks, you can start to insert the top corners. You easily recognize them because one has the shark on the top corner, inside the top track. After doing this, you can remove the double side tape from the top of the track and top corners. Now you are ready to stick the guide into the compartment where you will go to install the insert screen making sure to put straight the track, if necessary also use a screw on the hole of the plastic corner, correct any out of square by sliding the top corners. Immediately afterwards we will repeat the same operation even for the lower guide, insert the top corners and remove the cover tape before attaching the track to the floor, make sure the area is clean without dust and dry. The bottom track must be installed perpendicular to the top, so that the Sharknet insert screen always works with the parallel tracks. This trick allows Sharknet to work better and flow smoothly. Insert the starting profile, it is important to know immediately what the opening direction will be, so our Sharknet will open from left to right relative to your screen view. The starting profile should be inserted in both corners. In the lower, in the top corner, be careful, if you are working on a wall or on a bricks, use the dowels. The starting profile isn't pre-drilled. At this point you can take the net kit. When you release the net kit from the cellophane, be very careful to where the ropes are. Do not allow them to fall in the intertwine. It is also important to pass the ropes in the up and down pallets, just as shown in the video. Insert the net kit into the tracks and once it's attached to the starting profile, starting from the bottom, apply pressure so that the kit net can go into the starting profile. Keeping the net keep down and be careful to handle the ropes without crossing them. Insert the tuner in the opposite top corner. Warning, the brass register screw must always be exposed. This is the tuner correct position. If inserted in the opposite direction, scrolling is compromised. If necessary, use the supplied Allen key to activate the screws in the tuner. Now we can do a sliding test. Tuning both right and left to adjust the tension of the ropes to obtain a fluid scroll and the perfect vertical handlebar. Repeat the same operation for the top part. You can remove the excess ropes, but leave a few centimeters in length. Insert the arriving profile and fix it with the screws. Take the profile for magnet and then move it to the handlebar to test its polarity. If sticks well at the front, the polarity is right. If it is not stick this way, turn it over, the magnet is the opposite. Once you have defined the right direction, fit the profile for magnet into the arriving profile. Always push it from bottom to top. Adjust the compensator and insert the screw to lock them. The compensator are used to compensate any out of square. The sliding must always be fluid. So, if you don't have out of square, do not push the compensator too high. Get the two black plastic rectangles in the accessories kit. The safety that fits in the lower pulleys, this makes Sharkonet stay in the track, even after an accident impact. For security reasons, in the event of a significant impact, the shark net will come out of the track. In that case, simply reinsert it into the sliding track. Insert the cap to cover the hole in the net kit that is used if you want to extract the net kit. If you like, you can insert the supply handles and fixing them with the screws. Your shark net is assembled.